What's good, family? Mm. What's good, family? What's good? I'm finally back. I was on a little mini vacation that my brother, Mr. Number One Suspect, popped up here, drove up here from Florida. Just a big surprise. Drove way to Virginia from Florida. Didn't tell me he was coming to nothing. Just showed up at my doorstep Sunday and said, go grab your bag. I got a resort for us already set up. You know what I mean? We going to the water park and shit for the week, man. Just go get your bag. Hop in the Escalade and we boned out. Just got back had a blast um but while we was gone a package that my brother had sent to me arrived and so i want to definitely unbox that man for y'all and show y'all what that's about and a couple of other packages that came in the meantime another one came from a man spadeonomics comics shout out to the big homie spade you can find him on instagram at spadeonomics comics in the meantime uh and also i got another one from uh things of another world.com some pre-order stuff that finally arrived they had some problems with the shipping and it finally came it's a little bit late but they are the x-men number one variant covers so let's get into that man and see what we got i'll start out with uh those variant covers for y'all all right boom so I grabbed this joint just because it looked like a great new indie title that I can already see blowing up fast. It's uh, Blacksmith number one. And uh, again, it just looks like a really dope comic from Ahoy Comics. So we will be checking that out. And again, all of this stuff will be for sale on my Instagram auction that I will be doing you know, nightly. But tonight, uh, all of this stuff's going up for the first time. So make sure you're there on Instagram at sixth underscore element underscore comics. Oh, and this is the beaut. Werewolf by Night, number 32, first appearance of uh, Moon Knight. That's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, what do you call it? Uh, in facsimile, reprint, whatever. Um, this is the middle. I, I like this one because it doesn't say like true believers real big on the top or, you know, uh, reprint or whatever. It just looks like the actual comic. The only difference being the uh, the price. But so, yeah, I've got a few of these. I got the uh, 98 first app Deadpool and the Hulk 181 first app Wolverine. Now I got this first app Moon Knight. Favorite characters right there. All right, so this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, variant of the X Men number one. The green joint. You have Professor X real big here in the background, and of course Cyclops and Jean Grey and the all new Wolverine X 23 and who are these other guys. Uh, maybe who's that player oh that's the new cat so yeah this is a really dope one this is a little bit more expensive version this one is one of my favorites just because i love that 90s animated you know x-men animated series and this is definitely based directly on that and you can uh you, you can see man you can see all the x-men from the 90s animated series you know what i mean jubilee you know uh, wolverine cyclops gambit beast storm rogue phoenix everybody's there love that one love that one uh this one is uh, deadpool 30th another sick x-men number one variant cover deadpool wolverine cyclops gene gray dope cover man with my man wolverine right there love that joint now this is another one of the kind of the more expensive variant covers not cover price i think these were like 15 each or something like that x23 badass cover and i like the uh the little, little cartoon sort of logos there that's a phenomenal cover by uh ryan b dwart ryan b dwart yeah or maybe it's ryan b w r o y'all gonna love this Fuck. it says rainbow art reading it all crazy ryan b o dwart yeah man rainbow art Fuck. dope book dope book oh man and of course gotta put one of these in my pc the scotty young joint you know all the new you know x23 and, and cyclops gene gray rogue again polaris all the new guys man love this one scotty young going into pc but again all these will be for sale you know tonight on my auctions on instagram this is one of the Stormbreakers, the uh, rb silver patrick gleason natasha busto and of course cyclops rogue and x23 looking extra dope extra extra dope another stormbreakers by peach momoko and i ben cello great cover i love these stormbreakers because they're almost you know they're 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 almost virgin they're minimal they're minimal covers no logos and all of that just the 
art, you know? Okay, this is another, uh, this is, I think, the original, like, cover A, like, X-Men number one, like, the, the regular cover. And it is dope, like, it, it's one of the doper ones. Another Stormbreaker, Juan Cabal, and Carmen Carnero. Loving this, loving this Professor X, Jean Grey cover right here. Again, minimal, not much writing on it. If they would have put that, if they would just put that logo on the back of something, this would be virgin, boy. Loving it, loving the art. Stormbreaker's Joshua Cassandra. Another beautiful shot of Polaris. Super sick. Oh man, this is one of the, the, the hottest joints right here. This is the card cover, right? Remember this card? Remember these, the, the little, the Marvel cards we used to get in the 90s, early 90s? So that's a, a cover based on obviously those cards from back in the day, the little trading cards. That's the Cyclops joint. Hella dope. Hella dope. That stuff came from things from another world. And this is from a man, Spadonomics Comics. And some items I, I purchased from him. These are really dope. He does also do the auctions with me, so he might be on with me tonight. I'm not sure, but again, check us out on Instagram, 6th underscore element underscore comics, and his is Spadonomics Comics. Again, man, that, that, that uh, 90s, that 90s X-Men animated series, bro. I did not even know that they had comics based on those shows, so I had to jump on these. My man had it, and I didn't even know it was out there snagged it this is a number 10 this is the number six oh wolverine it's wolverine and uh saber tooth man that is brutal tooth and claw see the fox kids network logo right there if y'all don't know man the x-men animated series in the 90s is one of the best in my opinion the best marvel animated anything because it just the stories were so you know close to the comics and just really well done the, the voice acting is phenomenal you know the animation for back then was a little it was a little bit lacking i mean it was a little little choppy or whatever but uh man just you didn't think about that it was just that dope this is the season two number one from that hit animated television series and you got mr sinister up there just kind of puppeteering the whole the whole x-men crew sinister ceremonies yeah man had to have it had to have it and then this is number two from that same season two series attack of the nasty boys check out everybody on there super dope oh now this this was another another must grab must have that saber tooth that saber tooth that saber tooth series bro that mini series was lit super duper you got this uh die cut joint with the uh the o's are actually cut out so when you open the cover these are just you know complete cutouts and then you see the picture that's behind the cover there hella cool uh reminds me of the deadpool cover that looks just like this this is number two to that series saber tooth death hunt on a mission to death a past life is found just look at the art on these and the art on the inside is just as dope i mean these were something very special like the saber tooth comics man they're highly slept on because these were some of the coolest <laughs> here's another example i mean look at that cover dude look at that shit this is number three you cannot deny the art is is insane and like i said man the art inside these are just as dope man check out this super saber tooth series bro this is number four it's like the art is like i don't know what you call it man but it's it's not your typical comic book art it's like classic real badass painting like real badass art man just real really dope stuff all right now this is wolverine real tiny there it says number 91 but yeah really cool cover because you've got you got wolverine up here you know and then his reflection in the pool in the water yeah it's dope it's dope 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 you got x-force good old you know number nine anything with cable on the cover i rock with you got domino and shatterstar in there just 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 coming from that era man that, that rob liefeld jim lee todd mcfarlane when they was running things you know era man the, the the original rock star artists of the comic world daredevil number 300 double size special issue last rights part four of four kingpin just looking crushed 
down here man and then daredevil just looking brutal another one of those covers i just had to have man really dope don't know anything about this man i just saw it and conan uncanny x-men like what like x-men vs conan is just just a dope concept dope idea i assume it just is X, X, uncanny x-men number six and right here it says versus conan and uh, you got the you know the x-men tricked out in the the old barbarian you know what i'm saying barbarian outfits wolverine looking crazy crazy brutal right there so just just thought it was a fun cover to grab and this is just a cover that you can't deny man extraordinary x-men number 12 and medusa is wrapping up cyclops and this this suit right here this costume this cyclops costume is why i and a lot of people keep mistake or were originally mistaking the new professor x to be cyclops when dawn of x came out house of x powers of x everybody thought it was cyclops including myself at first <clears throat> because of this costume but uh you know professor x got cerebro on his head now it's no longer a big room he just rocks it as a helmet and has it on you know constantly and real quick a few that i had already opened this one is from a man lj comics just sent these and this is the, he sent me a few freebies um that i'd never heard of mega city 909 looks like number two. Oh, okay they're variants mega city 909 never heard of it really looks really cool and then uh, uh gem son of saturn from dc number one and this one i've never heard of is also is uh from jc comics thunder agents number one very obscure maybe maybe some canadian stuff who knows and then this is from a man emilio's comics check him out on instagram i grabbed the uh, what if wolverine led alpha flight hella cool cover i grabbed nottingham number three and four this was one of this is one of the great the greatest new indie joints in my opinion from mad cave I'm trying to collect you know all the ones that are out right now i think i got them all uh, the Old Guard, Tales Through Time. This is a really cool uh, series so far. I've been reading it. Every issue has been great. This is issue number two. I just got this particular cover because obviously that samurai is just looking badass. And I grabbed a couple of Deathblow and Wolverine. Deathblow is an image character. You know, he's kind of like a Punisher, kind of. Um, but just really cool image and Marvel, you know, collaboration. Love to see it. Deathblow and Wolverine is number one and number two. And this is this is that man. This is you know it's Wolverine number forty eight. Just look at that man. That is just brutal, bro. Like that is Wolverine. And this speaks to the to the whole you know MCU mutants. Hugh Jackman, Fox. I want to I want to put this out there. Like Hugh Jackman gave us a phenomenal character. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, Fox's Wolverine, whatever you call it, was dope. Like he killed that that was cool like i love it i don't take nothing from it but as a true blue wolverine fan from back in the day i want marvel to finally give us wolverine the animalistic just thug that just just feral you know what i mean just badass short stalky you know what i'm saying wolverine let's get that one time let us have that you know we had the leading man you know what i mean six foot tall hugh jackman he killed the role he's a phenomenal actor again i don't take nothing from him but he didn't wear the costume we he never wore the mask you know he always wanted to show his face that's what you know these hollywood types are into give us an unknown actor you know what i'm saying who's just trying to make his you know hungry you know and and just looks like wolverine like just let us have that one time that's all i'm asking and this one last but not least is from comic talks on instagram nightwing number 49 six sick cover and the uh detective comics number 985 batman with all the bats all around him that's phenomenal and he's that blue and gray batman too that i love so those are a few that i had already open for y'all all right with no further to do we gonna bust out the six sick package from my brother the number one suspect and he got this at Universal Studios in Florida and Orlando. And, you know, I've seen pictures, but I'm told it uh, does no justice. So let's see what this bad boy looks like in person. Big statue. Big box. 
Base alone, and this thing has weight, man. This thing is heavy as hell, bro. Look at that shit. That's the base, man. That's just the base. Yeah, it looks like some solid wood. Official Marvel.com, Marvel Universal Studios. Official, and you got the hole right there where you key in the foot of the main character. Who is... <laughs> the man right here. Carnage. Let me get his. Let me get his his limbs on. He's in there. Look at the fingers, man. These these are badass, bro. Look at the man. That shit is crucial. That shit is crucial. Arms just key in right here, like so. There's only one way they go in, so it's gotta be gotta be exact. Okay. I didn't want to force it, you know? I don't want to mess nothing up, but look at that. It's looking crazy already. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Got his other limb here. That shit just dope, bro. Check him out. Check him out. That is dope. Yo, thank you, brother. Thank you. I know this joint wasn't cheap, man. That is official, man. He even got some like resin in his mouth to make it look like slob, like slobber, goop, man. That is a beautiful piece. Definition in the muscles, detail, the painting is amazing. Got the signature veinage all over, webbage, veinage, whatever it is. Symbiote, man. And again, this this thing is heavy, bro. Like, it's this is not easy to hold up. This joke, this this joker right here is heavy, and it uh, yeah, it it feels like you know maybe like a like almost like a porcelain, but I don't know. I guess it's PVC. I don't know. It's very hard. It almost feels like wood, or you know, I don't know, ceramic something. I'm not sure what it is, man. But it is not uh, it is not no flimsy plastic. It is not plastic. I've got a Deadpool statue that. There's nothing like this. This thing is official. Like this is really dope. So again, man, I can't thank you enough, brother. That was just a major lookout, man. A major, major lookout. Got to show it again, man. Check that thing out. God damn, that's dope. This is an awesome addition to the sixth element of hip hop, man cave, which is currently in mad disarray because I've got my my stand right here. This the stand that I got right here, which I stand behind. And I got the, the camera facing it and I do my auctions from there. So I'll be on Instagram selling tonight. I'm going to say 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, if I can get on there in time, we'll try to start at 8 p.m. Eastern and I'll probably go all night. And I'm with the Mad Men of Comics, so uh, I won't be alone. I believe my man Dad and Daughter Comics, Jacob, will be on there. So that's at dad underscore and underscore daughter underscore comics. Uh, and he will be on there with me sixth underscore element underscore comics on instagram so check us out tonight shout out to my man spade spadeonomics comics for the for the dope comics shout out to things of another world.com and big big shout out to my brother number one suspect full blast tribe member brother since this high we grew up together man that's my main that's my main damey right there so uh i will see y'all tonight on instagram again we will do my show we will be back monday i have to apologize for everybody monday and wednesday both days my shows were were canceled postponed whatever you want to call it just because i was out of town and i was wilding out man i was i was at the water park or we was at the resort just kicking it having the time of our lives man so we had to do that you know sometimes you got to get away got to take a vacation you got to get up out of the man cave you got to get up off the internet you got to go out and do some stuff man and have a good time and i really needed that so again i'm really sorry that you know i know a lot of people was like yo what's going on where's the show i apologize it's in eight months that i've been doing this every monday this is the first monday that i've ever missed a show and since i recently started the wednesday show this is the first wednesday that i've ever missed a show 
so it does not happen uh but it happened so again i'm sorry we will be back in action no worries on monday 6 30 p.m as always eastern standard time on six element of hip-hop on in, on youtube and again catch me every night on instagram six underscore element underscore comics in the meantime i do want to also shout out my man cooks 24 podcast we will be doing a vidcast <clears throat> sort of podcaster to vidcaster um you know commentary interview each other you know just busting it up talking comics talking podcasting talking all of that good stuff so we, we're gonna try to put that out this weekend so stay tuned for that um and and, and we will see y'all man peace one